Hello guys, in this video I am going to discuss about the best tech in Clash Royale this season according to OJ. Let's hop onto this game number 1 here guys. Jumping onto this match we are playing against TNC. He started the playing with the knight in the back. So I played the hunter in the opposite lane just to force something else. So he played witch in the opposite side. So I played golden knight and tried to wait for the mega knight to jump onto the witch here guys. So as the elixir came I played the mega knight on top of the witch. And the mini pekka easily will deal 1 damage to my tower. I said 2 damage to my tower. No problem guys. Now let's just kite the baby dragon with the mini pekka. Since there was night witch it was not actually like kiting. The baby dragon took some of my damage. So I then easily play the witch here in order to counter the knight here. So for this response he played the witch in the back in order to counter my wizard. But instead he played the log in order to counter my wizard here. So I need the support of this wizard so I play the mirror here with the level 15. And then the golden knight in order to easily counter the witch. He play the night witch so I easily activate the ability and, and mini pekka and the wizard both died at the end. So I play hunter at this spot in order to counter the night witch here. He play the knight onto my hunter and the hunter did just one damage for the knight. So I had to play the elite barbarians for because of the baby dragon will be hitting those elite barbarians in order for tower to connect. He just misplaced the log but in the end he played the goblin gang. So I had to take this valley with my wizard as well as the mega knight here. And no damage to the mega knight. So he then play I know this is my right situation because my mega knight is gone having wizard is playing. So I just immediately took the damage lead and just immediately won the game. So in the end I will just keep on defending for the next 20 seconds here. I just played golden knight in the back. Hunter here. Nice golden knight ability. Missile for the assist. And GG well played good game guys. The way this deck works is by defending until the moment you feel that if you just rush at the bridge you can be able to win the match. So then you need to wait until that moment and then crush your opponent's deck with ease. Now let's move on to this game number 2 here guys. Jumping onto this one guys we are playing against Sam Trom. He just started with a goblin dart. So I played hunter on top of that to kill it instantly. He then played Electro Wizard to counter my Hunter, so I just play the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to counter the Electro Wizard. He then immediately rushed with the P.E.K.K.A. here. My Mini P.E.K.K.A. just crushed there. So I know it's time to defend, so I played the Wizard in the back here. And I just played the Golden Knight all the way along, you know, to just tank for the P.E.K.K.A. I just activate the ability and the P.E.K.K.A just crushed, I then throw arrows in order to take no damage from the P.E.K.K.A. So I just took some 2 damage from the wizard here. He then played the firecrackers. And the wizard able to easily counter it due to the attack speed of the princess's firecrackers is very low. He then played goblin dart, so I just played the elite barbarians in order to counter it. He then played the bats in order to counter my elite barbarians as well as the electro wizard at the end. So I had to simply just defend with the mini P.E.K.K.A here. He then played the Infernal Dragon in order to counter my mini P.E.K.K.A but the mini P.E.K.K.A touched the tower one time here. So I now know it's my time to kite the baby dragon so I just play the golden knight here. He just countered both of the elixir that's 3 plus 4, 7 elixir guys and no damage taken. So he then rushed the bridge with the goblin dart again so I just had to play 
hunter down there and I took some damage this time so double elixir is coming up so I had to know it's time to write defense so I played the hunter in the back so I had to support my hunter so I played the mega knight I know he'll be playing something like Inferno Dragon or the Wizard for defense, so I just play the Elite Barbarians onto the right hand side. But then he will just respond with the Pekka in the other lane. The level 15 Hunter was very lots of value. He just played the Firecrackers, but the Hunter was there to counter the Pekka all alone. Mini Pekka was easily countered by the Electro Wizard as well as the Inferno Dragon. The Wizard is more than enough to counter the Inferno Dragon. I just played arrows onto the Goblin Dart. So Pekka came in under the overtime. So I had to play the Elite Barbarians on the other side. I took some damage of 1000. I know it's time for defense so I just play the hunter here and then play the mega knight on top of the everything down there easily countered everything a nice another hunter shot counter the pekka fully this time also no damage taken so I then played easily wizard as well as golden knight in order to counter this mega pekka push I safely play the hunter like this in order to take no damage from the mecha this time too. So now my elixir is pumping so I just play the mega knight on top of the firecrackers as well as the wizard. So I know he will definitely play that so I just immediately rush up slaying the mecha. So I know he will be playing that bad slice and things so I just played the arrows and just got 2 hits from the mini mecha. I had to play golden knight for the electro wizard as well as wizard to defend here. Elite Barbarians this time to counter the wizard as well as the goblin dark. I know he'll be playing this so I have to do more defense here. With the hunter, nice timing. A nice arrows, but at the wrong time. So I got to play golden knight for the wizard and mini pet to pull it out. And took some crazy amount of damage from the golden knight. Finishes of the game. GG well played good game guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. By subscribing you will be the first to know when I upload new videos and till now all my videos are entertaining so make sure to check that out. If you want to know the guide on how to win the classic challenge with no effort it is in this playlist. See you guys in my next video.